Hello there and welcome to Complete Games. I'm James and this is my guide on how to do custom images and prints for all of your canvases and billboards on Arc Survival Evolved. Now this is for PC users and you're going to need an external program. I'll leave a link to this program down below. It's the Arc PNT editor and you can just get it from the Steam Guides work page. You're also going to need a piece of photo editing software. In my case, I'm using Photoshop, but GIMP is a free alternative if you don't have Photoshop. You will need to make this image 256 pixels by 256 squared. And I'm just going to do something rough here using my logo. So let's just uh, place something, an image anything down now this works with anything and you can get as creative as you like I, I recommend perhaps using images that don't have too many colors in there and the more detail in your image the more that's going to be lost depending on whereabouts you put it so I'm just gonna center this around the center something like that and we'll add some text as well just place that down now remember this is your world you get to make and break the rules here. Sweet baby Jesus. Wish I could jump in there and roll around in all that cascading white powder. Yeah, just get high in all of life's splendor. God, I love cocaine. So there we are, something simple. Welcome to the house of James will do. I'm just gonna save this and I'm gonna save it as a PNG file. It doesn't really matter if it's a JPEG. It just needs to be 256 pixels squared. And we need to open up the Arc PNT editor. Okay, so I've just selected the painting canvas because I want this image to go on a canvas. But of course, if we was doing a billboard, they've got all of the different shapes inside here. So we need to load the image that we've just made in Photoshop. Like I say, GIMP is also a free alternative, so it doesn't matter if you make it in GIMP as well. There we go. So we also want to limit the colors and just check that we only use the colors that are available in the game. So make sure that that is correct. And now we can go to save this as an ARC PNT file. And we want to keep that name at the bottom there. I'm just going to put I don't know, perhaps logo, we'll call this at the front, leaving the rest of that string there so it recognizes what type of file it is. In my case, I've got my Steam library on my D drive. So we go into Steam apps, then we go into common, arc, shooter game. Then we go into saved. And just down here, you'll see my paintings and we want to save it just there. If you're on Epic Games, you'll just need to locate that file under your Epic Games files. Now that you've saved that image into your paintings file under Arc Survival Evolved, it will be sat there with all of the other camera shots if you've taken that, and these paintings work the same way as the camera. I recommend that you get as many colors in your palette as possible before you stick something up on the wall. So it's good to just make a load of dyes up before you do this. But let's just put a canvas up here. And now if we just go into painting and up at the top, you will see load paint from type. And as you can see, I've got some camera shots there, but there's our logo painting canvas. It tells us everything that we're gonna to need to make this painting. And it does say that we're not missing any of the resources. So we'll just hit load painting. Let that run its cycle. And there we have it. That's our custom image. And of course, you guys can all get as creative as you like. I think the key to think here is try to go for as minimal colors. I think sometimes when you're using a photo or a direct image, it doesn't always come out the greatest. I'm still playing around with a billboard. I did try to upload one of the last cover of the video that we did with the Wyvern, but I didn't think that looked so great. So we'll give this one a try. Again, we're not missing any of the resources. So let's just upload this one and see what this one looks like on the wooden billboard. And there we go. So that's all there is to it. 
Now you can brighten up your bases and put some custom signs out and really put your own stamp on your builds. All you really need is Photoshop or GIMP as a free alternative and that little program that just converts the image into the correct colors and file format. So I hope you found that guide useful. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and you're enjoying the art content from myself. But until next time, I'm James from Complete Games and I'll see you.